Don't you just love it when you're trying to turn a breaker off that's labeled bad, but still being used, but also you literally can't turn it off? Might have something to do with it raining in that 480 panel. Speaking of 480, this 480 service had a bad day. It's never good when someone calls and the only advice that can be given is get the hell out of there and call the fire department. We still don't know exactly what happened, but we do know that this was a very expensive day. And week. And month. Anyone still running one of these bad boys? That thing is clean as a whistle. But if you don't trust PLCs, you can always throw one of these artifacts in. I still think it's cool. But what's not cool is when you're hanging from a crusty ladder in a wet well, and you make a little friend. Thankfully, I'm not super afraid of snakes, but I wasn't really in the mood for making new friends. Especially with this swarm of bees. Not the bees! Ah! Thankfully, we were able to get them evicted, do a full shutdown, remove this 1200 amp breaker, and all so we could fix a broken $2 bolt. Honestly, it probably wasn't even $2. Next up, we have one of the worst sins in the electrical world. I was looking for wire number 14 for a very long time, and I couldn't find it because it's labeled 13. Just like I was looking for wire 13, and it was labeled 12. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. I lied, I'm mad. Here's another glimpse into the wonderful world of chemical feed systems. Don't even ask because I don't have an answer. And I'll leave you with a perfect example of why grounding and bonding is important. Because you never know who will be the one to find out the hard way. See you on the next one. Ground your boxes.